We're gonna now look at the single scatter and this one is mainly used for leaves and stuff like that. It is a simpler um, version of subsurf scattering type light coming through. If I set my diffuse down to zero so we don't get any diffuse and now just concentrate on the single scatter and just get this up to one. You can see here it kind of looks a bit funky and you can see here, yeah, depending on your geometries, you might start to see some strange things here. You can somewhat go around this uh, by essentially, you see here, the free, free path color is essentially what's picked up here. You can see this color here corresponds to what you see there. Uh, so if you would plug in a color, you will get scattering from that. You cannot see these artifacts. That is because the geometry here is essentially occluding and then you get all of these. You can go in here to the advanced setting and, and you can essentially start to blur this out and that might start to get you something. It is a bit depending on your geometry looks like what you will get from this. And, and sometimes I think it might be um, worth in conjunction with subsurface in some cases to use this. Or if you have leaves, uh, definitely could use single scatter instead of subsurface to get this kind of effect where you see light coming through the surface. But as you can see here, when you have multiple objects uh, on top of each other, you might start to get, uh, for example here, my geometry is bending over and back and then it uh, stops there. And then essentially the inside of this will essentially occlude and that's kind of correct but you might start to get all of these artifacts from single scattering depending on your geometry let's take a look here at some more effects here so you have obviously after the blur here and directionality you also have this backside direct gain here and if I, you see here, it doesn't do anything, but if I start to direct gain tint, let's introduce another color here. And you can see here, now we're essentially getting like the, the back side of this, almost like a subsurface color coming through here. And yeah, so that's something you can play with. As you can see here, compared to subsurface, this is kind of a bit harder to art direct because it's very geometry dependent. So a bit of a single scatter on objects might, um, depending on how they look like, might be something you could use. In the next episode, we're gonna take a look at the glass component. If you wanna support my channel, consider dropping a comment in one of the videos with information of upcoming episodes you wanna see from Meshman Studio. See you in the channel, bye-bye.